All right, let's get to learning about layer masks. Now we are going to use this beginning image, which has this background, the old distracted boyfriend background. And then we've got a moth, which we're going to replace his head with, and a lampshade to replace her head with so that we create our own beautiful moth meme. Uh, we're going to actually work our way up from the bottom to the top, so I'm going to turn off the top layers. Our finished image is going to look like this, so I'll pull this one up just so you can see what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. We're going to blur out the face using a mosaic effect on this gal, and then of course we'll replace these. We will also have a levels adjustment to turn the lady lamp on, if you will, and a uh, levels or a brightness contrast adjustment here to brighten up that lamp so it looks like the lamp is on. So that's basically what we're doing on this. So starting off, again, we're dealing with the background layer. We're going to add a filter. Filters are here. But if you add a filter, it will be destructive unless we make this layer a smart object. So we're going to right click and convert to smart object. I'm going to double click and name this distracted boyfriend. Now be careful when you make something a smart object, if you accidentally double click it, it's going to go into some mode. We don't want to do that. So if that happens, hit escape. Um, don't let it take you into that mode. All right, now that this is a smart object and we can tell by based on this little icon, I can add a filter. The filter we're going to use is the pixelate filter called mosaic. Um, you can choose how much that you want it to be filtered. I think that, um, you know, you want to not see the eyeballs, right, when we're protecting the identity of people. So if your preview button is not pushed, push preview so you can see it, and then press OK when you're happy with it. Since this is a smart filter, it appears below the layer like this. We can still double click mosaic to edit if we changed our mind. And because it's got a mask box, this white box is a mask, we can choose what areas of this layer use the filter. So when it's white, all areas of this layer use the filter. I can click on this box and use a black paintbrush. Now bear in mind, we want to use a soft brush, so hardness should be turned down. We want to use these baby squares here. This is the reset colors box to put white and black as our colors, and this button will switch back and forth. So if we want to hide the mosaic effect, we use a black. Black is for hiding. Now my bracket buttons to the right of the letter P allow me to make my brush bigger or smaller. I'm going to use this size, and I'm just going to paint in black on the mask and it says here I'm on the filter mask and I just paint okay and so that makes it not apply to anything that's painted in black and notice on here now I can see where that's applied so if I switch these then I can like paint more of her to be mosaic so that's it that's the first one our second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brighten up this gal so that she is a lighter color so she looks like she's on she's the lamp there are two ways to go about doing this. You could go ahead and just add your layer, um, your adjustment layer. Let me undock this so I can see the bottom of my layers panel. This little moon's looking button is your adjustment layer button. Now, if you do that, it's going to add, I'm going to choose levels. It's going to add this layer, and everything below this layer is going to be affected by this change. So I could do this. I need to put it right above the layer I want it on. I could do this. And then same concept that we just did with the other one, I could paint this out using a black paintbrush on the areas that I don't want to be bright, like so. We'll put them back to normal. See, now just she is brightened up. Now the second way you could do that would be to use your quick selection brush and just select over her body here, the area that we want it to be um, brightened. Now I'm going to hold down Alt and Minus to get rid of this little part here. Now this won't be perfect. You're still going to have to touch this up. But if you have a pre-selected area, when you come and click on your Levels button, it'll automatically fill your layer mask in with black and only put this part white. So that's just a shortcut. But then whenever you lift it, see you're going to get some ugly edges here. So you're still going to have to touch this up probably with a black paintbrush or a white paintbrush to bring areas back in. So kind of up to you as to which way you go about that. All right, so we've got our levels adjustment to brighten up our gal, and we've got our smart filter to mosaic the face. Next, let's click on the moth layer and turn it on. We're going to use the quick selection brush, since that's the only quick the selection tool that I've taught you so far, and we're going to brush over the moth. Remember, if you get too much, just hold down the Alt key. And if yours is not selecting, do be sure you're pushed on Add to Selection up here. 
Um, more than likely, it's going to select um, a good amount of it, but not the little antenna at the top. We're going to go into Select and Mask so we can see it. Now, I like to do it on red and then pull this down. So I'm viewing it as a mask and overlay. Um, but you could choose on black or white or whatever. So now that I've got that on there, I'm going to paint in the top part up here. And there's different ways you could do it. You could use the little hairbrush and try to paint in those areas this way. See, that brought that in nicely. Um, or you could just use an actual paintbrush. So you could click on this little paintbrush. You could zoom up. And if there's areas that you need to add in or get rid of, just use this brush and add them in or get them, get them out. So if there's like a white part that doesn't need to be there, I can take it out. Or if there's a part that needs to be added in, I can paint it in. If you go too far, then again, just switch it and use the opposite to touch it up. Once you're happy with it, you're going to output this to a layer mask so that it gets that black box to cover up all the rest of this image. So I'm going to hit OK. That's looking good. I'm going to press Control Zero so I can zoom out. All right, awesome. Now, if you did have like any extra parts that were hanging out, you might need to touch up your mask. Okay, so you can paint in white or black on this if you needed to add anything else in. All right, finally, we repeat this process, clicking on the lampshade layer and turning it on, taking that quick selection brush again on plus, just brushing over any extra parts we can get rid of here using Alt. Or I could wait and get into Select and Mask and get rid of it here. So I could take this on Minus, make my brush a little bit bigger, and I could just paint this out myself. So you can do it either way. There's not a right or a wrong way to do this. All right, once you get it like you want it, you can, again, turn this up if you want to test it completely to see what it looks like. If there were edges you wanted to fix, you could. But we're going to output it to a layer mask. So I'm going to choose Layer Mask and hit OK. There we go. Then control zero, um, oh, I'm going to control minus to zoom out. That was already all on the page. And then the last thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and make this brighter. So once again, we need an adjustment layer. Um, you can use levels or you could even do brightness. I'll do brightness this time. In my properties are my controls for brightness. But if I start pulling this up, the whole image is getting brighter. And I only really want this to get brighter. So that's going to involve a clipping mask, which basically says clip this brightness adjustment to this lamp layer. So only the lamp layer obeys this brightness adjustment. We do that by right clicking out to the side and going to create clipping mask or on the properties panel, there's a button here to create the clipping mask as well. Click that to clip it. And now look, lamp off, lamp on, like so. And that's basically it. So that's the very quick version of how to accomplish this mask activity with our moth meme.